Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm here to comment on our vote chess game that already reached the 14th move and we have more than 4,000 players taking part. It's becoming very exciting. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having too. And in this video we're gonna take a look at what happened in the first moves of the game. So I start with e4 which has always been my main move. I mean, I tried different things like d4, or knight f3, but e4 is the move that I feel more confident with. So e5 was played, which is a very traditional response, just controlling the center. Knight f3, knight c6. Now white could play bishop c4, the Italian opening, d4, the Scotch opening, knight c3 leading to the 3 or 4 knights game, or bishop b5, which is the Spanish opening, one of the oldest openings in chess. I just want to develop my pieces and create some pressure on the c6 knight. a6 was played, then bishop a4, knight f6. And I just played castle. Now black has an option to take on e4, leading to the open variation of the Spanish opening. Then white plays d4, gets the initiative, eventually gets the pawn back and we get a very unbalanced position. This move has become fashionable lately because of the top Chinese players especially. But bishop e7 was played here, which is just a standard move, the main move for black here, just trying to finish the development. Now I deviated from the main move, which is rook e1, by playing d3. Uh, actually, I don't want to play anything too ambitious right now because normally rook e1 intends to play c3 and d4 very fast and I didn't want to go into that because rook e1 has been studied by for decades and centuries let's say and d3 just trying to put my pieces into play and I think that's a tendency in modern chess just to play non-theoretical, less theoretical ideas, let's say, so both players can use their creative creativity early on in the game. So I want to take the c6 knight now and then take the e5 pawn, since I defended my e4 pawn right now. So b5 was played, bishop b3, castle, and now a4, which is an interesting move. I'm just asking some questions. How are you going to defend the b5 pawn? If you play rook b8, I can always take on b5 and my a1 rook is suddenly into play already. If you play b4, then a5 is an interesting move for two reasons. It stops knight a5, it could be, could be strong against the, b3, the, the b3 bishop. And also after b4, a5, I can play bishop c4, attacking the a6 pawn at some point. So bishop b7 was chosen, it's a pretty standard move too. I play rook e1, keeping an eye on the e5 pawn. Now d6 was played with the simple idea, simple and good idea of knight a5 followed by c5, getting a good control of the center. Now I can play knight c3, attacking the b5 pawn. But I chose knight bd2, pretty classical too, just to play knight f1, knight g3, and eventually try to jump to f5, create some sort of initiative in the, in the king side. Knight a5 was played, bishop a2, because I'm never giving this bishop for this knight, and it's not a problem that I lose the a4 pawn, because I should get it back too, if, if black takes there, but besides that, b takes a4 just completely ruins black's structure, so that's not advisable at all. So c5 was played, knight f1, trying to jump to g3, or eventually to e3 in some lines too. Uh, b4 was played, I think here c3 right away was also a, diff a different option, so b4 could not be as good as was in the game, but 
I think I had a recent game in this, like three years ago. That I played this position as white, but I don't remember exactly how did I play. But knight f1 is completely natural too. Now b4 was played, and now c3. Yeah. Here I, I played c3 because... I thought that at some point there is this interesting pawn sacrifice with b3, black plays b3. Because if I take with the bishop, then knight takes b3, c takes b3, and black gets the bishop pair and gets this really weak pawn on b3 for white. And if I take with the c pawn to b3, c takes b3, then the a to bishop stays in a very awkward square suddenly. An interesting uh, positional idea is b3, c takes b3, knight c6 and then the knight can jump to b4 just burying this bishop on a2. Instead of that I played c3 and now I think bc3 was a wise choice because otherwise I'll be happy to take on b4 and prepare d4 at some point uh, eliminating this pawn that controls the center well. But b takes c3 and now I took the pawn back and now you have around 10 hours to place your move. I will be waiting for it. I think the next move will be very critical to, to evaluate for the evaluation of the position. And I'm sure it will become more difficult to play natural moves because the position will start to get tense. And I hope to see you guys in maybe 5 or 7 moves, I don't know. Anyway, uh, good luck and see ya!